That was like the biggest bull run I think I've ever seen in my life. Yo, yo, yo. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. We are out here. We are doing the Delta thing again today. It is shallow. I'm talking freaking shallow. I'm in like maybe a foot of water here. Um, and we just got, had a cold front come through last night yesterday last night kind of yesterday afternoon into the night switched out of the north wind dropped that temperature down we got into the low 50s last night again and it's just got a lot of current coming out you know that north wind pushes a lot of water and we're already kind of near low tides we're going to be near the near the strongest point of the tide swing got a lot of water like i said just a lot of water coming through but i'm out here looking for some more fish uh, you know i was out here a few days ago not sure if that video got put up or not. It might have. I think it probably did. So that was probably the last video you guys saw. It's catching all the bass out here. Oh, there we go. That might be another bass, right? Oh, pulled him off, dang it. I feel like another bass, though. But as I was saying, I was catching a lot of bass out here the other day. I was looking for reds, but we kept getting the bass, but think that'll probably be about the same thing today we had a ton of rain yesterday it's got a lot of uh, a lot of fresh water down here I think it's probably gonna have a lot of these um, you know a lot of bass down in this area I don't I don't know how it's gonna be for the the reds and the trout I, I, I don't really anticipate catching many trout today put it like that hope but hopefully we'll get on some good reds That'd be cool with some more topwater bassing again. That was, uh, you know, I enjoyed that the other day. But I'm hoping to get some fish to take home for dinner tonight. Hopefully to get, oh, what was that? I just saw a tail. And that had to have been a, a drum tail. I think today's probably going to be more of a pop and cork topwater. Probably go try to sight cast a drum or something. Um, you know those drums are a little more apt to put their tails out <clears throat> up out of the water here so we'll probably maybe try to do a sight cast drum but as far as sight casting reds i don't i don't really feel too confident i was pushing down this flat saw a big swirl yeah that's a big old drum let's see if i can hit him That might be a bull, actually. That was like the biggest bull run I think I've ever seen in my life. <clears throat> Let's see if I can keep an eye on him. Yeah, he is cruising. Alright. <clears throat> well, since seeing that bull up in the shallows, I've decided to, uh, up up here on the tower a little bit windy today so it's not not exactly the easiest pulling around but it's manageable still a little early uh, I think it's maybe 8 o'clock so the sun's still a little low it's just not the not the ideal time for it right now but I figured I'd go ahead and give it a shot just for a little bit. Water is a lot cleaner right in here than I expected it to be today. I'm real happy with that. Hopefully the fish will cooperate with me, won't be super spooky. Got him! Got him! Oh yes! Woo! 
Man, that was a good one. Oh, he was on it. <laughs> Man, that is what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh. Nice. Going for a little ride on this one. <coughs> That's what we needed this morning. Oh no, he didn't. He just pulled off. He just freaking pulled off. No kidding. Man. Man, look at that. Just got so much grass down on the hook, he was able to work it out. Jeez. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. That was a good fish. All right. Man, I'm sick about that one. Oh, I'm hurting after the morning I've had. I needed that fish. That's a good one. But there's a few more right in here when I hooked him. He was like right in here when I hooked him. There's a couple more right down here. I'm hoping I didn't spook them off the line. Just gonna push around and hopefully they're... Gosh, man, that was just perfect. Belly crawling. I mean, he absolutely destroyed my bait. Oh. I guess I just had my drag a little too loose, tighten it up a little bit so I can get a little stronger hook to that hook. Maybe, maybe that'll make the difference. Dang, man, that stinks. That's a good fish. Here it is. Got him! Good fish, good fish, good fish. Got him. Oh, yes. Stay pinned, baby, stay pinned. Oh, my GoPro just died mid fight. Trying to get you something. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now we're back in the game. Oh, of course, as soon as I hook the fish, my dang GoPro dies. Not good timing. Woo, man, that's a good one. Redfish. I don't think my net's gonna work on this one. Oh, what a mess. Sight casting one like that. Holy cow, look at that beast. Just choked the bugs, Jay. You can see it down in there. Holy cow. All right, there we go. All right, now we got this camera back rolling. Let's get this beast released. All right, I'm gonna measure her real quick, send her back on her way. Oh man, this is gonna be way bigger than my board. 
she's probably it's about a 37 inch fish that's a good red get her get her some life back in her oh man what a beast Good deal. Oh my goodness. Sheep up Nope, he didn't like that. Man, look how freaking pretty he is. Get in the net. There we go. There we go. All right. Now we're talking. All right, y'all, there we go. There's number two on the boat. Look at how pretty he is, just solid gold. Solid gold, saw him with his face, just had buried in the mud, rooting around. I knew I had a pretty good chance of getting this guy. Gonna put him on the board. I'm keeping some fish today, so unluckily for him, if he is slot, he is going in the cooler. Oh, lucky day, buddy. He is 26 and a half. So we're gonna release him. I'm not looking for anything over slot, just looking for in the slot. So he's lucky he's gonna catch the release, but there we go. He smoked it just how we want him to. There's number two. 